Okay, so I was sitting here, and I was about to reline some of my uh, poles, some of my reels, and I decided that I would just go through my tackle box just so I could upload a video this week before the weekend. So I'm just going to go through my tackle box and show you what's all in here and what I use. Gracie, are you going to help? No? Okay. Alright, on the top, obviously, I've got some scissors, knives, everything to deal with lime. So, let's start. This will save for last. That's full of plastics and all that. Let's start with the first box, which is my, uh, basically these are moving baits. We've got a bunch of jerk baits here. Crawdad, uh, perch, baby bass, black and white, pink, shad. We've got an underspin here. It's a Pro Strike La Bamba 5.5C. I really like this this time of year. Probably going to break this out this weekend. Is so that. We've got this. Matsuo. It's a deep trolling lure. I can't remember what it's called. Some sort of minnow. It's a good time. This nice crankbait. Beautiful hand painted crankbait there. It's a deep dive. Well, 7 to 10 feet, I think. A couple of cheap spoons. Don't don't I don't use spoons much. This is a um, it's a bomber uh, blue with a couple of beads in there. Bomber blue and uh, shad. This right here is a lucky strike. Very very loud. Um, beautiful color on it. Haven't got to use that yet. We'll probably use it this weekend. This is a cheap Walmart. It's also very loud. There's a, a two piece there. Kind of a jerk bait, kind of swim bait, hard body. This is a ducket. Ducket? Is this a ducket? No. I don't know. Anyway, this is a hollow body, soft body um, crankbait. It's pretty nice. I like it. Doesn't very run well. This is broken. And then two little tiny uh, lipless crankbaits. Looks like a shad, red eye shad, and uh, kind of a bright green, blue. Use those for you know creek fishing and the sort. Uh oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all these back in there. There we go, perfect. Okay, so you take care of that, okay? All right. All right, top water. All of this is top water. This is a bumblebee. I've never used this. It's been used before, for sure. It's a bumblebee. Fun times catching perch on that. This is not even a real lure, actually. Those aren't even real hooks. I don't know why that's in there. All right, a couple of spooks. Ow! Ow! That hurt. We've got a black. Black and uh, silver with uh, red on the bottom. Real cheap spook here. Does have some good walking action. Very wide in the water. And uh, same sort of thing. Rattles pretty loud. Sounds like maybe one big rattle in there. It's silver uh, with a yellow lateral line, white bottom. Good color. And then I've got some frogs here. Got the long, the big frog. Don't use much. Um, need to trim these down for sure, but you got that one. Got the uh, black and yellow, smaller frog, red eyes, black bottom. So all that really matters is the bottom, obviously. And then obvi I use the white frog a lot. Got two of those with the red eye. These are, I don't know what brand these are. They're all the same brand, though. Uh, that, that just skipping frog or a. I actually found this bait. Got the hook in it as well. A couple of jitterbugs. Got the, uh, what is that? I don't know what color, what these colors are called. But, uh, yeah. I love these baits. They're fun. They're fun to walk across the water. And then the, uh, leopard frog color as well. And then I've got a couple poppers. Um, black and silver. Small for ponds. Uh, when, and then uh, orange and gray. 
And then this one right here, blue and silver, never actually used this one. Um, I do like it though. This is my favorite popper, the black and I guess it's orange with a red mouth. This is, I love this bait in the fall, um, in early fall, in the summer, uh, and during the spawn. I love these baits. Okay. Oh, and the live target sunfish. This is an awesome bait. It's so lifelike. So lifelike. It's top water. You can walk it. You can pop it. You can hop it over pads. It's a bluegill. Bluegill pattern. Very, very lifelike. Definitely a good bait. All right. It's two boxes. Two boxes down. Wow, this is going to take a while. Actually, it's not. I'm almost done. Here's some moving baits. Uh, whites. A couple white and blue spinner baits. Black spinner bait. White chatter bait. I've got some trailers on there. Uh, this box doesn't get pulled out much. Chatter baits get used once in a while. Alright. What's next? These are just jigs and some big swim baits. You've seen this swim bait. It was in my last lucky tackle box opening. I've got the hooks in there because they'll never be used for anything else. This is also a line through. Uh, shad color. Or white. Actually, it's just white. Line through. I've got the hook in there as well for that. These are some Berkeley, uh, some Berkeley little swim baits. I've never caught anything on them. I don't really, I don't really like them that much. But here's some jigs. Got the black bucktail jigs, like those. Real fun, good cold water bait. Um, got a little baby booyah here, brown, green. And then I've got a larger. Uh, this one is brown, green, blue, red with a brown top, kind of a football head style. And then just some white jig heads. Last is the box I hardly ever use, panfish and crappie box. I don't think this has much in it. It's got some fly poppers, some dry poppers there. Those are fun. Um, a bunch of inline spinners. Looks like rooster tails and nuts. The sort. I use those. And then some just underspans. These might get used once in a while. That's about it. That's about it, really. Okay. Let's open up these pockets and see what's in them. This pocket has... Okay, nothing. That's good. I think this pocket is full of all my lines. Yeah. Lines. Pulls a line. And then... I keep a notebook in here to, you know, log what I catch fish on, what the water temp is, and all that. So I know where I caught them at, what day, and all that. So I know in future years... In the front, I think I've got lens wipes. Yeah, got lens wipes, fishing license, bobbers. Yeah, that's about it. And some extra chargers for the batteries on the cameras. Okay, here's the fun part the soft plastics. Let me set this up. You guys can wiggle around for a minute. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What's going on? All right, all right, soft plastics. First of all, I have all the hooks, sinkers, bullet weights, a couple of sizes, drop or uh, split shot rigs, drop shot weights, uh, drop shot hooks, treble hook for some reason, um, some of those willow blades to hook onto worms, Mm. Venom hook, not venom hooks, what are these called? Uh, I don't remember. And then just some one aught, two aught, three aught off shank hooks, worm hooks. Nice wide gap hook here. Yeah, just the hooks you need to throw plastics around. Seeing these jig trailers, not much to see there. Beaver tails, nice crowd there. So we got vicious baits, just a green pumpkin worm here, 8 inch, good long size, I like this one, I throw it once in a while. Oh, the bio spawn, I've seen these, plasma tails, that's fun, always good to have a good plasma tail. Um, <laughs> these are some cheap, young, 
jig trailers. The craw. The purple. I like them. I use them. I'll throw them on a black and blue jig. Or actually a brown jig. Big bite baits. We've got a, it looks like a six inch U-tail here. Black. Once in a while. Again. Another cheap, cheap uh, jig trailer. These are brown. I really don't like these. They have no flex. Like They're like, ugh. Don't like them. They're brown, sparkly. They look like a mermaid. I don't know. Just a weird creature. Um, some ribbon tail worms. Some. I'm not gonna open these. They smell terrible. Bio Lab. Bio Lab swim baits. This is my favorite jig trailer and chatterbait trailer and anything you want to put it on. It's the Yum. Gum crawdad. I've caught a lot of fish on these. The, you can't really Texas rig them because of they're hollow and they're not very durable. But they are great for jig trailers. They just look at that action. Look at that. That's crazy. They're awesome. I always have one or two packs of those. I know there's at least probably two packs poured into that thing right there. Some lizards. I don't use lizards much, but sometimes I throw them around on a Texas rig. I have no idea how to use these. I don't even know what they are. I can't even find a YouTube video on what they are. If anyone knows, it's a Castic Soft Bait. Um, I have no idea how to fish this. I guess maybe just weedless or weightless. I guess just on a, on a wide gap hook, maybe. I don't know. Some brown Utel worms. Those are old. The Charlie's worms, baby juke. This is a great bait. I love it. Real small. A lot of action on the tail. Working on the top of the water. You can work it on a drop shot. It's real fun. Real good time. Most importantly, bug spray. Need bug spray. Always need bug spray. Okay. Uh, this is a weird bait. The Sidewinder. I haven't really quite figured out the best way to use it. I've wacky rigged it. I've Texas rigged it. And it or I've, weed, I've actually used it weedless too. But it, it actually, this floats. This has a pocket of air, so when the bait hits the bottom, this actually sticks up in the air and keeps the bait like like this on the bottom, which is cool, but I really haven't figured out the best way to rig it, because it doesn't sink very fast, and it's, it's tough to fish without a, a weight on the top, but, you know. We've got some drop shot heads here, not drop shot heads, some, some uh, I don't know. I can't think of the word. Uh, obviously, everyone needs at least one bag of these in their tackle box. These are watermelon black flake. Some Sankos. Slayers. Here we got some watermelon. Watermelon trick worms. Uh, I like to put these on the back of buzz baits. I really do. Uh, and also, you know, obviously, fish them any other way. Any weed list, you can fish them on a drop shot. You can even fish these wacky rigged if you wanted. But I like to put them on the back of a buzz bait. Put a huge profile on a buzz bait and look for that big fish. I also like to fish them over some grass lines, stuff like that. Um, this is a weird color. Twisty tail worm. Now there's some old worms. These are old, old duck worms. I don't use these hardly at all. Or these. Okay, here we go. Zoom, super salt, U tail, green pumpkin. A lot of green pumpkin. Those are have a big, big tail on them. I think they're eight inches. Doesn't really say, but I think they're eh, they might be six or seven. I don't know. They're pretty big. They're fun. Very good bait. Uh, some more old worms. These are ribbon tails. Like, looks like burgundy or some color like that. Pink and black. Old. Okay, now we've got the Yum Dinger. This is purple. June Bug, actually, is what they call it. That's a great, great color, always. There's also a pink one in here. I don't know where that one came from. This one, actually. That one might be. No, that one's a Yum. And a couple more. Cabin Creek Bait Company, Salty Sinking Worm. You've probably seen these. They came in mystery tackle boxes. They're actually flat on the sides. I think it makes them maybe fall slower or faster. I don't know. But they're flat. They're not perfectly round. They have a 
nice top there to easily a uh, Texas rig, Carolina rig, or whatever you want. A couple more in here. We've got the uh, watermelon red flake, smaller yum dingers, just for a smaller presentation. I like those. I actually use those a lot. And then a fish hog. Fish hog jig trailer. I like this one. It's got some good action on the tail. It's very slimy and smelly, and I think it probably works. And last, no, oh, just kidding. One more ribbon tail. This is the worm that I have yet to be able to. I fished it, but I, I I'm gonna need to fish it in a maybe like Lake Eufaula or something. It is the jelly worm. It's giant. It's super heavy. You know, got to fish it on, you know, heavy rod, and I don't even have a heavy rod, so, but these are green pumpkin as well. Um, actually, sorry, these are watermelon, watermelon seed. Anyway, they're huge. They're fun. I may try it this weekend if I get the chance. Um... I don't know, it's gonna rain. I'm, I'm worried that I'm not gonna get to fish this weekend. I mean, it's gonna rain in Florida, so we'll see. I think that's all. I don't think I have anything in these pockets. Except I have a scale. There is a scale in those pockets. That's about it. That's what I have, that's what I fish with. I've got six, five or six. Uh, five spinning rods. Nothing special. I am getting a bait caster very soon, um, for Christmas actually. The rod is actually coming today. I'll have the rod today, uh, and I'll get the reel for Christmas from my wonderful girlfriend. So that's what's in my tackle box. I know this is a really long video, but uh, I hope you got. I hope you watched like five minutes of it or something and enjoyed it. I'm just gonna post it as one big, um, one big. Um, Thing. I'm not going to even edit it. I'm just going to post it as as it is. So, can't wait to get out and fish with some of this stuff. I don't put these in here, don't you think? Please. What is that, Gracie? What is that? You want a jig head? No. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned. Uh, you know, like the video if you liked it. And comment. I love the comments. So, uh, thanks.